Oh yeah, dual calipers. <laughs> you guys unfortunately i could not save the footage that i have of me building my dual caliper setup for the car uh it's it sucks i have a, i had a lot of stuff on that sd card and i just can't seem to get it off it anyways i thought i would walk you guys through and show you my hub assembly uh it was cheap to do easy to do didn't take too long and you know if you just have a different style knuckle i'm sure you can figure something out very similar to it so I'm going to flip that thing over and show you how I built the bracket. So it was actually a pretty easy setup. Basically what I did was I mounted the, I stuck the uh, caliper on the rotor with the pads in it, shimmed it all out, got it centered. And then what I did from there is I built this backing bracket for it. So I got that all cut out, drilled and tapped so that would bolt on. And then after I did that, I kind of fit this bracket here up to that one. And then having this very very well secured on the rotor because you don't want it to move i went ahead and i tacked this in a couple spots on this side pulled the bracket off flipped it over tacked it on the other side and then put the whole thing on to make sure it fit now once i knew that it fit back on there and everything was good to go i laid a single bead on the back and a single bead on the top and then took it off the welding bench bolted it back on made sure nothing pulled or anything like that and then took it back off again and then did a final weld pass on both sides laying a nice heavy bead on it and that was pretty much it it was a really easy setup to do uh, for mounting it's two bolts right here to mount that and that just bolts onto the side of the knuckle and it works and it looks good you know, I'm pretty happy with it it was pretty easy to do pretty cheap to do too so it's not bad now when I say it was cheap to do you're probably wondering well how cheap was it was it 500 bucks 600 bucks something like that because you see dual caliper kits out there and they're you know they go for anywhere up to a grand I think sometimes um, I don't know, there's so much shit out there for a 240 I don't know what 240 guys pay it's probably not even six seven hundred bucks something like that I have no idea Anyways, the calipers themselves were about $135 each. Not bad for some Willwoods, uh, Willwood four pistons. Uh, the pads were, you know, 30, 40 bucks. So when you factor in calipers, pads, uh, a little bit of material, some hardware. And the cost on it was right around $300. So it's not too bad. It's going to work great. I have a handbrake somewhere in my car. Uh, I think I did a video on it when I built that thing. Um, yeah, there it is right there. That's the handbrake. Uh, it's got a proper size master cylinder for it, so it's going to be all right. I actually might change that handbrake out, though. I might redesign it. I don't really... I kind of was running low on material, and I'm not too happy with the way that one turned out, so I might build a new one. I don't know. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. Uh... Yeah, the dual caliper, super cheap to do if you buy the Willwoods. Uh, I'll leave a link down in the description to the calipers that I used. You're going to want to get the right size, though, so you make sure you get your rotor thickness right when you order those. Otherwise, they're not going to fit. So know your rotor thickness before you order your calipers. As for now, that's going to be it for this one. Just wanted to give you guys a quick uh, show of the caliper setup that I did on the car. So if you liked the video, liked it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and I will catch you guys later.